we had last left, the Chosen One. They continued their weird exploratory adventures inside of the toxic caves, revealing amazing caches of ammunition and weaponry. But upon exiting, they turned their sights to none other than the New California Republic, a settlement far to the south that would perhaps yield familiar faces, but not to them. To the, to the viewer, this is Fallout 2. Welcome back. Let us head on over here and talk to Son of Bob's Iguana Bits. It tastes like chicken. Let's do a quick save. There we are. I'm assuming it's people again, right? I'm assuming that this is a cannibal situation once more. I mean, we see the iguanas hanging up, right? Like son of Bob's store. We're seeing actual iguanas hanging up there, but we don't know. Do we know? <laughs> I feel like the tuxedo is uh, concerning. All right. Can we super inspect this stall? A street vendor's stand. Oh, and also, goodness, I almost forgot. Gentle viewer Nubile Reptile wrote in with an important warning that NCR, once we get out of the bazaar area, oh my god. Yeah, I watch cars. Yeah, cats? Yeah, I, I can't. You like cars? I watch them like a hawk with itty bitty eyes. I like cats. The, the cars, 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 cats, and cars. Okay, yeah, I watch cars. Yeah, yeah. I watch cars, cars, yeah, cars. Cars, yeah, cars, cars, I watch cars, yeah, I wrote a song about it, wanna hear it, here it goes. You like cars, I watch them like a hawk, yeah, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, yeah, yeah, I watch cars, 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 yeah, cars, 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 yeah, cars, cats, la 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 la, cars, give me a car, give me a cat, I watch them like a hawk with little beady eyes, I'm a car, love cars, cars and cats, watch some cats too, anyone have a cat, cats, yeah, I'm fine, yeah, I'm fine, yeah, cars, 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 cats, cars, I watch cars, cars, yeah, cats, yeah, anyone want to have a cat, fuck, <laughs> <laughs> but uh sorry there's just some dialogue that we had to read we just had we had to read it as it was appearing anyway yeah once we get deeper into town we need to make sure we don't have a weapon out otherwise we're gonna be in deep doo-doo so let's just preemptively do this before i forget let's see here combat control is that gonna get me to what i want no Okay, talk. Let's see. Oh, yeah, talk about your gear. Put your weapon away. There we go. Sure, can't promise I won't pull it out again if there's trouble, though. Okay, yeah, that's it for now. Okay, cool. You know what? That actually works out very well for us. Okay, let's inspect a sharp-dressed guy hawking lizard kebabs. For a lizard on a stick vendor, this guy's got style. He's clean, well-dressed, and runs a pretty spotless little operation. He is eating people. Hungry stranger? I got the best lizard around. Ask anybody. I'll take one. What can you tell me about this town? What can you tell me about this town? Look, I got a rule. I don't say nothing about nobody. It's a good rule because if I keep my mouth shut, I keep out of trouble. Capiche? Fine. Look, I'm hungry. Do you have a geck? Sorry for troubling you. Christ! <laughs> Why are we like this now? It didn't seem that wild. <laughs> okay, do you have a geck? A uh, geck? Well, that's old history. So what the hell? You mean the old Garden of Eden creation kit? We had one. I mean, our grandparents had one. Used it when they came out of the vault, out of Vault 15. Got this place started, they say. It's all used up now. Well, I'm still hungry. Hungry, stranger? I got the best lizard around. Ask anybody. Okay, I'll take one. Wow, you have so many of them. Okay. <laughs> you really do have a lot. Jesus. 
together, dude has 102 iguana on a stick. Or no, wait. Yeah, 112, huh? Yeah, 112 iguanas on a stick. Whew. Okay, well, I lied. I actually don't want any. Next! Look at this fucking guy. He's talking like there's other people in line. It's just me, son of a bob. Let's try and steal from him. <laughs> let's, fuck it, let's try and steal from him. Nothing. Can we steal from these guards? Oh shit, yo, you got a Bozar? I mean, there's no way we could do that. Let's try and get a couple stims, maybe. Wow, we got him. Okay. Alright. I'm liking it. How about over here? Another Bozar, it looks like, huh? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Over here. Can we steal from the shopkeeper? Oh, I can't because Pariah Dog is in the way. Oh, dear. It's that damn pariah dog. Okay. Good. Or damn bad luck dog. <laughs> My bad. Ooh. More stims. Can I take all three? No fucking way. I got all three of them. Okay. I like cats. That's the word. Cats and cars. Cars and cats. Cats, cats, cars, cars. What the fuck is going on? Yo, this guy's got another Bozar? Okay. Can we tell him to shut the fuck up or something? Whoa, man. There's like this giant talking to me. Is that so cool or what? What place is this? Whoa, thought communication. I'm picking up mental vibes. Okay, let me try. Uh, uh, yes? No? You are a damn head case. I'm out of here. Yes? That's right, man. Go see Merc. He's always got things they need doing. Go bye-bye. Why, why did I close up by saying that? <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. I'm guessing it's very intentional what music they're using right here, right now. Right? It is very purpose purposefully meant to be... Fallout 1 music. Is this the music that they used in, um... Oh my god, what's the name of the fucking town? The first town you're very likely to come across in Fallout 1. You know, the one with Tandy. Oh my god, what was it called? What was it called? It wasn't, um... Holy shit, I can't remember the name of that town. <laughs> eh, well, what can you do? A fully functioning sink. Nice and clean, too. Maybe they'll remind me here. Okay. You look at yourself for a while. Okay. A toilet. If you had a toilet fetish, then this would be a nice toilet. Dude, Fallout 2 is so fucking weird. <laughs> okay. Rawhide Saloon, now Owen. Welcome to NCR. We're here. Why not join us? <laughs> Why not? Why not join us? Okay. Oh, look, the bear only has one head there, huh? Weird. How does the bear get the second head? Or maybe it always has, and this is just a representation of it. Right, a lo-fi version, a low-res version. Okay, what is this? A bulletin board. Okay, let's have a read. Welcome to the new California Republic. Before entering our fair city, please take a moment to familiarize yourself with the following rules and regulations. Oh, we can click on each of the rules. What happens if I do that? No weapons may be openly carried inside the city limits. Obeying the law is good citizenship. Back. Persons found under the influence of alcohol or drugs will be arrested. Good. There won't be any... Is this in our head? 
when I click these, am I reading these in, in our head is talking to us? Good, there won't be any drinks or junkies pestering you for fix money. Okay. Slavery, gambling, and prostitution are not permitted within city limits. Looks like they're trying to create a respectable, decent community for people to live in. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. A dumbass will get his butt kicked just as fast as a smartass. Equality before the law is a good thing. If you can't live by these laws, then get the hell out. Huh. So if you are an addict, are you in deep shit? Like, what if you're addicted to jet and you try to come to NCR? You know? Because there's no cure. Can you- do you just not do this part of the game? That would be absolutely wild. Oops, sorry, I just had to swat a moth in real life. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Let's get out of this. Yeah, I've read enough of this. Okay. Pop this open. Good. So what is this? This is like some kind of... Clark building? Like a government building? Who is this? You see a woman in the armored uniform of the NCR. She may be a woman, <laughs> but... <laughs> what the fuck is up? What's going on here? <laughs> she may be a woman, but that shotgun on her hip says she ain't no pushover. Unlike other women. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Who did the writing for this area? Why is it so very different and clearly a little fucked up compared to other areas? <laughs> what the fuck is up? Okay, sure. Laws are on the bulletin board outside. No weapons, no drunks, no trouble. Okay. Let's do a quick save. Can we steal from this person? Oh, my bad. It's on three. Ooh, I'll take a stamp. Oh my gosh! I've been detected. Okay. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Can I sneak inside this shelf? Oh, a big book of science and Dean's electronics. Don't mind if I do. As well as a Geiger counter, but I don't know that we really need it. I'll take it anyway. I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> okay. Sure. Anything else here in these other, like, lockers? Wow, they are not locked and are full of grenades. Amazing. Okay. Wow, okay, more cool shit. Ammo and a weapon. All right, I'm assuming this one might get us detected. For, yep, okay. You are not to tamper with that. Please leave now or there will be trouble. Okay, I'm gonna quick load so we don't get on this person's bad side in case we need to talk to him later for some reason. All right, anything else over this way? No, there's our car. Hmm. Sure. Okay. Oh, is this the actual entry point to the city down this way? Oh, of course, because this would be based off of... This is that town. This is that first town, and this is how you entered the town. Right? I'm guessing that these are, like, meant to be the same walls just built up and reinforced. Okay. Rawhide Saloon. What is interesting is that Iguana Bob is up here. Or son of Iguana Bob. Or son of Bob. Not necessarily related to Iguana Bob, as far as we know. You know? We're just assuming, and maybe that's, that's a mistake. Maybe, maybe son of Bob is not Iguana Bob. Alright, what's going on? 
Looks like yet another bar fly. Doesn't look like the nicest of people, but with that much booze, who does? Okay. Yeah. People who don't look nice, according to us, now. You'd guess that even with the green hair and the scowl, she's the bartender of this joint. Hey, is that- that's not meant to be that follower of the apocalypse that we had- w that we weren't able to do a quest for in Fallout 1, remember? It was like bugged or something? Well, she's young and attractive, but there's a look in her eye that says she don't take no crap from anybody. Then the spike knuckles hanging on the chain around her neck. Yeah, she's a smoking hot dame. <laughs> Fucking A. Okay, she's not like the other girls. <laughs> Just like the other girl that we saw earlier, she wasn't like him either. <laughs> did all this. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. How about this person? Another bar fly. Same drunk you saw last time. Okay. How about people in here? Looks like another guy who thinks more with his fists than his head. We are so mean now. We are so mean. Why are we just such a dick now that we're here? <laughs> uh, let's see. Big, tough, dumb. Bodyguard. You see a well-dressed, heavy-set man who moves with deliberate slowness. This fellow's got an air of arrogant coldness to him. Like he cares for you no more than the fly he just squashed between his fingers. That's pretty impressive that he caught a fly between his fingers. Unless it, like, went to live there because he's got, like, poop on his hand or something. Then that's pretty bad. Alright, can we talk to these random drunks here? The roasted- try the roasted mole rat. It's the best around. Okay. If you're looking for work, stranger, go down to the Stockman's. Who is this? Go away, you're bothering me. And this? If you're looking for work- okay. Did you hear someone talk- did you hear the one about- oh, it's a- okay, I see. You see a mutant, and a tame one at that. Unlike the normal mutants, <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is up, man? <laughs> We're just like slightly, we've, we've inherited some kind of trait now that makes us a little bit bigoted, <laughs> right? What the fuck are like, our authority stat or something has gone up a little bit, and now we're we're marking all these hidden checks. They're just outing us as like a crypto fascist. Sorry, sorry, not to not to lean too much on some uh, some disco times, huh? Anyway, oh great, here we go. <laughs> you know the super inspect's gonna be good when it starts with, "Who boy, this lad's a piece of work." Besides the fact that he's green and ugly, he's got more scars on him than an old whore! This one's a fighter for sure! <gasps> what the fuck? What is this change of character? Oh my god! It's like they just straight up changed writing staff! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, alright. Damn, what's up? What's up, dude? You looking like a whore? <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Lenny. You must be shit for brains. Ha 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 ha! You know what? Maybe I deserve a bit of that. <laughs> for th the thoughts are running through my head, maybe I, maybe I deserve a little of that. Okay. What's up, bartender? Oh, no. This is definitely not who we know. Yeah, she would be, she'd be really old by this point. Unlikely that that many characters would survive, huh? Mira's the name. What'll you have, stranger? I don't care. Give me the house special. Give me a beer. Information. I'm looking for work. Information. You gonna buy a drink? Ten dollars. Yes. So what is it, stranger? Got a little time for some questions? Sure. I got some time. That's what bartenders are supposed to do. Just don't get no ideas. Tell me about this town. There it is. Shady Sands. Name's NCR. 
used to be Shady Sands, but after the Master's defeat, Eridesh and the others founded the Republic. Now, NCR sits right on the border. Everything south of here's Republic ruled. Hmm. A few more questions. Well, thanks, I'll remember that. Hmm. Word of advice, keep your nose clean in town. Courts aren't too friendly to our types, if you know what I mean. Citizens got more rights than you. Ah, yo, I feel like I was spot on about the town, huh? Oh my gosh, I feel like we were fucking nail, nail on the head. All right, let's see. Hmm. Look, that's all I got to say about that. A few more questions. Ever heard of Vault 13? Yeah, another one of them wackos look- Oh, yeah, another one of them wackos looking for lost treasure? Y'all ought to go see Salt Beef Bob over at Weston's Ranch. He's always talking about treasure. You may have to wet his whistle, though. Oh, gosh, I gotta suck him off or something? What, what does this mean? Okay. Or, or, like, I gotta bring him a delivery of beer? I don't know. I'm sorry, Mira. I just, I just banged a whole lot. It's like, <laughs> you won't believe what I was doing not too long ago. Sorry. It's, it's corrupted me, evidently. Okay, a few more questions. I'm looking for a thing called a geck. Know anything about it? You tell me how to mix it, and I'll pour it for you. It's not a drink, it's a Garden of Eden creation kit. Garden of Eden creation kit. Sounds technical. You might try looking up Dorothy, the city engineer. A few more questions. Uh, okay, well I don't want to say, well that kills that idea. It's a little harsh. Well thanks, I'll remember that. Can we barter, by the way? Oh, you've got stims. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. Let's do a quick save again. Hey, bodyguard. Mr. Merck doesn't want to be disturbed. I'm going to disturb him. Well, keep it polite, punk, or this could get ugly. I'm looking for work. Informed sources say you're the man to see about doing business, if you know what I mean. I'm looking for some information. I don't know. Let's <laughs> should we should we say this? Informed sources say you're the man to see about doing business, if you know what I mean. It was that damn doofus, wasn't it? That little junkie talks too much for his own good. Tell you what, you cap him for me, call it a favor, and then we'll talk. Whoa, I'm not that cold blooded. Who was Doofus? Was it the- was Doofus the guy out front who I had watch my car? Was that their name? Well, I'm not that cold-blooded. Well, as far as I'm concerned, here you're just a pile of dung. Oh, okay. You wanna talk again? What the hell are you doing in my place? I was out of line before. I won't do it again. I just want a little of your time. Okay. Oh, uh, well, as far as he's concerned, I'm just a pile of dung. Okay, well, fuck it. I'm not gonna shoot Doofus if this is Doofus. Is this- yeah, it's Doofus. The car hop. Yeah, I'm not gonna shoot poor fucking Doofus. Fuck off, man. Alright. Well. Let's look over here. It's like a makeshift junkyard. Looks like there were folks staying out here, too. Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I just walked into town. Okay, hang on. Let's head on back out. There we are. Some very interesting costuming going on in there, too. Let's go over this way, because we definitely got to check out this fucking compound. What is that? Vortis holding sign. You see nothing out of the ordinary. Oh shit, there's a fucking wizard here. What's up? It's a heap of rags that might have a person underneath it. It could be a human. It might be a mutant. All you can tell for sure is that it smells really, really bad. We're so mean now. We're just so fucking mean. 
Uh, junk for sale. Junk for sale. Look it over. Make me an offer. So, what's for sale? You look like you got, you're got. you good with your hands. You do have hands, don't you? I got five bucks. You got any good gossip? Goodbye. Any good gossip? Heard tell there's a doc here in town. Says he's got some miracle cure. I ain't taking it, though. Here's another fiver. Then there's salt beef. Old Coot says he's found a gold mine. Here's another. Miss Dorothy and Toto? Okay, Dorothy and Toto. Okay, all right. Was out here last week looking for some parts to fix the power plant. I couldn't help him, though. Here's another. Thanks for the money, but I don't know anything more. Here's another. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Can I see your stuff? Damn, you weren't kidding. It is junk. Okay. <laughs> uh, well. You look like you're good with your hands. You do have hands, don't you? I can fix up all sorts of stuff. Got me blower, named it Claudia. Fit most any car. Give it a lot more power. Only a thousand smackers. You interested? You bet. Claudia's my kind of... Whatever. Okay, sure. Well, give me six hours. I should have it fixed up by then. Before you do, a little more of your time. Good, I'll see you later. Yeah, I don't, we don't need any more talk, do we? Yeah, I'll see you later. Cool, so now we have a blower for our car. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> uh, yeah, great. Machinery. It looks like an old printing press or manufacturing doohickey. Junk. Useless junk. Okay. Anything of interest here? I don't think so. Alright. How about this person? Big guy gun. Standing around. Guard. He's got a slaver tattoo on his forehead. Which doesn't make him look any brighter. Uh, remember... The slaver tattoo. Huh. I will definitely need to pay a visit here later, you know what I'm saying? Let's read all these. What are our stats now? Repairs at 54, science at 69. Okay, let's pop a quick save. Can we pickpocket this person? Yeah, we can. Good. Now there's free stim pack. You got questions? Talk to Vortis. Okay. Let's talk to Vortis. What a fucking name. <laughs> right? It sounds like a fucking... <laughs> the name of an alien from Half-Life. Okay. You got questions? Talk to Vortis. Talk, talk to Mr. Vortis, not me. Okay. Let's see what they got. More stims. Oh, I got detected. That was worth a shot. Is that Vortis back there, I'm guessing? Let's pop the door. Okay. What's this? Wooden door. Is there someone in here? Oh, it's me! I'm in here. Look at that, the door has, like, frames of animation. That is buck wild, okay. Oh. Go in there, and I'll blow your head off. Understand. Oh, shit. Who- where is Vortis, then? I thought that this was them. You see a stocky man with a submachine gun slung under his arm. Well, from his tattoo, you know he's a slaver. Looks like he's in charge of the guards around here. You see a scrawny old guy with a pen stuck behind his ear and spectacles balanced on the end of his nose. He's got about three teeth. His fingers and shirt are stained with blue ink. There's a really faded slaver's tattoo on his forehead. Oh, I love that little extra detail. Okay, well, I can't get in there to talk to him. Oh, shit. I wasn't supposed to walk there. 
<laughs> Apparently, this area is off limits. I guess Vortis isn't out here then. Let's load that. Okay. Now, should we wait until morning? Yeah, it's almost morning anyway. There we go. Make it just a smidge brighter. It did say no slavery, huh? Let's see. Yeah, slavery. Not permitted within city limits. But just outside of the city, evidently, that's okay. There we are. Greetings, stranger. Come to do business with NCR, have you? It's just a town guard. Let's see. Tough guy, has a gun, has a badge, has armor. Hmm. Might be a guard. What is this? Why are we talking like like this now, huh? Look, Merc is on the move. Can we talk to the guard? Welcome, welcome the NCR. Just to let you know, if you got weapons, keep them holstered. This ain't a gun-toting town, stranger. Okay. Let's do another quick save. See if we can get this person's stim. Which I'm imagining they would have. Yep. They got one of those combat shotguns, too. <laughs> Took their monies, too. All right. Computer? Oh, can't interact with it. You see a person wearing the uniform of the NCR police. Judging from the unsmiling face, don't expect much mercy here. He has 94 HP and is wielding a Pancor jackhammer with 10 out of 10 shots of 12-gauge shotgun shells. Okay. Quite the change of guards posted out here between games, huh? I'm on assignment. If there's trouble, you might you might try reporting it to the sheriff. Good day, stranger. New in town. Remember the um, the guards last time were community members and they were quite friendly. Okay. Sheriff over here. Sheriff's sign. Nothing out of the ordinary. Wow. A flag. Okay. Oh, shit. A robo brain. It's a big robot with tools and stuff. It's a big robot. Maintenance model. Can we talk to this person? You see a town inhabitant. There's nothing mentionable about the way this person looks. You from the north? Don't get many northers here. Another town inhabitant. Here they're going to be building some new houses soon. Okay. Sure. This must be the police station or something. Look at all the guards stationed. Oh my god! Look at this fucking Mario-ass looking laser grid. Holy shit. Force field emitter. I've never seen one like that before. Have I? Shit, maybe I have. Okay. Hmm. There's a hospital. There's another part of town. Dusty's Cantina. What is this building? Is it a shop? I wouldn't mind going to the shops first, if I can. I think this is a... office building or something. Okay. Place with some cars parked. Hmm. Whoa! Brotherhood area! Just like, uh, back in... Oh shit, which, which of the two towns was it? Was it the Den? I can't remember. Alright, well, fuck it. I guess we'll... We'll sift our way through all these buildings. Easier for me to keep track if we do it on a... Tile or screen-by-screen -screen basis, you know? Okay, let's quick save in case I trespass here accidentally. Desk! Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. I'm on assignment. If there's trouble, you might try reporting it to the sheriff. Move along now. There's nothing you you want to see here. 
or nothing to see here. Okay. Let's see, a generic desk. A young man wearing the badge of the NCR police. Welcome, stranger. I'm Deputy Carl. What can I do for you? I'm new to NCR. What can you tell me about your town? Well, I'm looking for Vault 13. My name's Lyle Schnub. I'm in need of some honest work. I'm new to NCR. What can you tell me about your town? This is NCR, capital of the New California Republic. Population 3,000 and growing. No slavery, no gambling, no drugs. President is Mrs. Tandy. My boss is Sheriff Dumont. That answer your questions? Well, I've got some other questions. Such as? Well, I'm looking for Vault 13. So, di so did I when I was a kid. <laughs> Let me know if you find it. Well, I got some other questions. My name's Lyle Schnub. I'm in need of some honest work. Work? The Stockman's Association is looking for guards. Raiders been hitting the cattle drives hard again. I heard that President Tandy's been looking for somebody resourceful, as she puts it. That help? Uh, well, I've got some other questions. Actually, I lied. Okay. Some thanks. Okay. Anything back here? Looks like an interrogation room. Oh, I'm allowed in. Anything in this? No. Okay. Looks like holding cells. Oh, there's a person in here. Can I talk to them? You see a man in dirty, blood-stained clothes. His face and arms have a cross hatch of old knife, of old knife scars, and there's a crazed look in his eyes that says he's a brawler and an outlaw. Can't get there. Can I stand, like, right here and talk? What are you gonna do? Scare me into talking? Hey, I bet I can bust into their... <laughs> into their weapons store. Do you think they have an alarm system? Let's quick save. What the fuck? I can just go back here, dude. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Good thing I have the ability to pick shit. Oh, <gasps> there was a dude in there. <laughs> okay. All right. There was a hidden dude. What a dirty trick. Okay. That said, I could probably get into this. Oh, that one's not even locked. Okay, this one maybe we can get in. Oh, this one's locked. That means there's treasure in there. Oh! If you don't stop fooling with that, I am authorized to shoot you. Okay. Damn, easy. Okay. Let's go over here. Yeah, my bad. So if this is like the police station because it's the sheriff and all that. What is this? Why is it so heavily guarded? Nothing to see here. Are they going to let me in? I'm in. Oh, this is Stockman's. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> you see a man with a sharp eye and a business attitude. Okay, craps table. Sure. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> right, it's going on anyway. He has a stick and lots of chips. You could try your luck with him. How about this person? You see a red-faced, friendly-looking man. He's a stocky fellow with constantly flushed, with constantly flushed face and shock of thin blonde hair. He walks with a slight lim limp. Okay. Stockman's Association or Associates. Yeah, Association sign. Greetings, stranger. Don't know you from these parts, so that means you're not a rancher. You come looking for work or are you here to buy? Uh, buy? Well, here's my stock. Make sure to look at all my tables for more inventories. If you don't like what I got, get your ass to the shyster Buster. Of course, he'll rob you blind. Who is Buster? 
Metal Armor Mark II, Stims, Geiger Counters, a bunch of 5mm. Okay. Nothing much else. How about work? Well, my name's Duppo. <laughs> what? Your name's Duppo? What kind of a fucking name is that, Duppo? Ranch supplies and hiring hall all done right here. Gotta say, you don't look like a Brahmin puncher. How are you with a gun? Good enough. I'm not into violence. Good enough. Well, sounds like you'll do. We're looking for guards for a Brahmin drive up to Redding. Pays $2,000 minus any stock loss before you get there. If you're interested, be at the gate to Winst Weston's place tomorrow. If you don't show, you don't go. Deal? Nah, I don't want to go to Redding. Anything else? Goodbye. Okay. So I can do the table trading again? Bye. Wait, isn't this the same shit? How much is a stack of that? Eh, 50. We'll hold off for now. Okay, goodbye. Now, oh, whoops. Bye. Yep, same, same. Goodbye. I guess we can use this table. Here we go. Bye. Okay. Spike knuckles, grenades, power fist. Ooh, an H and K P ninety C. Okay. It shoots ten millimeter. Sure, twenty four shots. I remember in um I don't remember exactly which one, but I think it was Battlefield three. The P ninety was my favorite weapon. A shit ton of seven six two. Some 9mm, holy hell. <laughs> okay. Common, of course, in many other games, but uh, a rare sight in Fallout. Hmm. Should I pawn off some of this shit? I feel like I ought to. How many units of 7.6 can I get? One more? Eh, almost. Give you a couple drinks. Ugh, if only I had one drink more, it'd be perfect. Okay, we'll hold off for now. Goodbye. Any tables over here we can interact with? No? Do you think we're allowed into the back? I'm assuming not, so I'm gonna quick save. You notice a small hole in the door where sound seems to be coming from. Hello? Oh wait, that's them saying. Hello? Uh, hello? Since when could doors talk? Uh, hi. Hi. Sorry, we don't need any of that. Oh, we need a password. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. In between videos, I did buy the expanded lock picking kit, I think. Oh shit, or did I? <laughs> what the fuck? I guess I didn't. I guess I just imagined it. Or did I did I use it up? Fuck, I don't know. I thought I bought the expanded lockpicking kit out at the bazaar, but maybe I fucking didn't. <laughs> Alright. Let's head over here. Check this building. Okay. Oh. Is this a doctor? You see a pudgy guy with a shiny bald head and thin lensed glasses. This guy is so out of place, it's painful. He's got that egg head. Oh, he must be pretty hardcore. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. I can't help it today. Not living in the real world air. Not living in the real world air about him. That's for sure. 
Okay. Uh, excuse me, I'm Dr. Henry, and I'm very busy. Oh, what do you want? I'm Lyle Schnub, the Chosen One. I'm looking for Vault 13. Uh, the Chosen One? Hmm, of course, that makes sense. Interesting. I'm afraid I can't help you. I was assigned to Cybergenetics Research, not the Vault Behavioral Project. What are you talking about? Oh, my, I've said more than I should already. Never mind. And if anybody asks, I didn't say anything. Barter? No. Oh, what the fuck are they doing here? Oh my gosh! You see a strange half-dog, half-metal thing. It appears to be activated. Either this thing is some horrible stitched-together combination of dog and machine, or it's all machine, cunningly done to look like a dog. It's hard to tell. Arf! Click. Woof! Okay. Huh. Now, oh, shit. My own dog keeping me locked up in here. Well, can't nobody look in here. Uh-oh. Yeah, done. This person just wandered in. <laughs> I don't want to take it if, uh, this is doing some bad shit. Okay. There we go. Now let's take it. Doctor's Papers. A set of very detailed plans for a cybernetic canine guard unit. With this and the right facilities, a person just might be able to build a robo-dog. <gasps> oh, we fucked up so bad. We could have had a robo-dog if we came here. We know exactly such a facility. Okay, how about over here? Or maybe this place also works. I don't know. How about back here? Should we actually inspect the notes in our inventory? I feel like it was pretty conclusive when we examined it there, but who knows? Yeah, same save. Alright, another quick save. Good. How about back here? What we got? Okay. Just a room with a bunch of pots. Feeling like I'm in fucking Ocarina right now. Alright, let's head over here. Bunch of crops, looking way better than uh, the last time we were here. Several decades ago. Yep, there's nothing mentionable about the way this person looks. Okay, sure. How about the hospital or whatever this building is? Let's go for the mystery building. I'm not going to get in trouble, am I? No. Oh, isn't this... emblem? This appears to be a religious emblem. Oh, never mind. Maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> For a second, I was like, Oh my gosh, is this the followers of the apocalypse? But I don't think so. You see a striking woman in a long robe. Her fixed stare and expression of mindless bliss would be disturbing, were she not so tranquil. Pulpit. People stand behind this and talk. It looks like it has a little place to hold, a prepared speech. Okay, what's up with you, tranquil person? Greetings, child. Are you one of the enlightened? Sure, why not? Well, I am the chosen one. Uh, I really don't know what you're talking about. Yes. No. I just want to be alone. <laughs> do you want to trade? Wow. You do. Okay. But to no end. Well, I am the chosen one. Chosen one. Don't you mean... A-H-S-1? Just what text are you working from? It's simple. I am the Chosen One because that is what must be. A-H-S-1. That's what my elder says I am. What are you talking about? Can we just get to the part where you sprinkle holy water on me or something? 
AHS-1. Aligned hub seeker, you are obviously not enlightened. Oh, the hub! Okay. Let's see. Greetings again. How can can the Church of Hubology help you? Uh, I really don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, are you seeking true understanding and spiritual peace? We can help. No, I'm looking for a geck. Help? How? A rocket launcher gives me all the spiritual peace I need, lady. True understand this. Rude hand gesture with the middle finger. <laughs> okay. No, I'm looking for a geck. I can't help you with that. However, our scientists in San Francisco might know something. Perhaps you should travel there. Man, late 90s for what I assume is um, critique on Scientology as a establishment, right? That feels very ahead of its time, you know? That, that said, maybe, maybe it's just because I was so young at the time I didn't really hear anything about it. I feel like it wasn't even until, like, the late aughts until I first heard word about Scientology. Alright. End. Let's see. I don't really know what you're talking about. Help how? By purging you of the negative psychic energy that keeps you in an oppressive state. Only then can you be enlightened. Neurodynes? Enlightened? Oppressive state? So, how's this purging work? Is it painful? Oppressive state? As long as your brain chemistry is affected by negative psychic energy, your true spiritual potential is oppressed. Worse still, oppressives can transmit this energy unless they are very, very strong-willed. Neurodynes Neurodynes are the psychic centers of the body. They become polluted by the f spiritual remnants of the people who died in the war. Their psi energies imprint into our neurodynes at birth and hold us in an oppressive state. Alignment eases these imprints. Enlightened. Enlightenment happens when all your neurodynes are aligned. Then you become an AHS, Aligned Hub Seeker, which is the goal of all Hubbanites. So how's this purging work? Is it painful? It's not painful. You just undergo a Zeta scan. I can do one now if you like. Sure. Ah, uh, such enthusiasm. Come with me. Close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. There, we erased a few nasty imprints. You are now an AHS-1. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to tend my church. Okay, okay. It's the enlightened one. Greetings, fellow seeker. There is nothing more I can do for you. You must continue your journey as an AHS-1 on your own. Alright. Damn, I didn't even have to pay anything. Okay, well. Hmm, where should we go next? I feel like we should keep this end of town for last. Maybe we go over here to the cantina? We'll take a quick peek. Looks like a small enough place. There we are. Cool. Oh, we closed the door. My bad. Alright, anyone in particular in here? Town inhabitant. A big dumb... A big dumb looking and over muscled lunk. He doesn't appear to be armed with weapons or wit. Oh. <laughs> okay. How about this person? You see a dumpy looking bald guy polishing a glass. He's a gruff looking guy with a crooked nose and pinched up ears like he might have been a boxer years ago. Okay, oh. Hey, you, turd face. I don't like you. I think you should buy me a drink. Bite me. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. Well, you're gonna have it. 
You either fight me or I'm going to tell everybody what a spineless little baby you are. Bare fist, right here. Fine, let's dance. No, really, I couldn't. Fine, let's dance. Okay. I got hit. Uh-oh. This guy's cheating. He's got spiked knuckles. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, shit! Cassidy fucking whips it out! <laughs> uh, okay, we better in combat. Cassidy, Cassidy! It was- it was a fucking fist fight, dude! Oh, man, okay. Fuck it. Kick him while he's down. Good idea, Cassidy. Let's see what happens. Hoss was hit for five points. Erp, he says. He's burping. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Cassidy fucking rocks, huh? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> How many HPs he got left? Can't be much. Okay, four. You're not gonna survive this next turn, dude. You sure you don't want in combat? Oh, he's running. Alright, Cassidy, here, I need you to <laughs> talk about your gear. Uh, put your weapon away real quick. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... Nobody really gives a shit. <laughs> uh, okay, well... Should we keep- <laughs> should we keep that? There is a great part of me that wants to keep that. <laughs> but the responsible part of me that is recording a playthrough for an audience knows that I should probably have Cassidy wait somewhere else. Like off- off this uh, tile, off this screen, and do it then. <laughs> right, we even got our boxing gloves, that'd probably work. Right, that'd probably be fine. Okay, yeah, we'll... <laughs> we'll reload. As cool as that fucking was, as much as Cassidy is down to fucking clown no matter what, we, we, got, <laughs> we gotta turn back time a bit. <laughs> Alright, fucking A. Oh shit, look, we missed out on this building too, huh? That's how far long ago I, I'd saved. Was there anything good in- uh, yeah, we did the church shit. Alright, in between videos, I'll get us caught up to the, the point that we were last time. Right? Good plan, great plan. Until next time, please, take care of each other.